Well, apparently I didn't get enough torture last week and apparently the bugs are worse this week. I need to put some bug spray on, but I hunted this area last week, the same piece of public. I didn't hunt this, this particular area and I didn't find any sign, didn't hear any birds, I've, at least nothing I could confirm. I thought I heard some gobbles. They might've been phantom gobbles, but found one set of hen tracks. Well, this area here, I've been riding around for about an hour now. I got here about an hour ago and I've found at least seven or eight different sets of hen tracks. And what I'm concentrating on is trails coming off this main dirt road here. And in particular, I'm concentrating on spots where there's two trails, one on either side, because the turkeys like to travel those paths, those clear paths in this thick cover. And so you'll find them going across from this trail to say this trail right here. I haven't found any gobbler tracks. I'm still looking for those, but I've found out of about the 10 spots I've stopped at, I found hen tracks at about seven of them. So about 75, 70%. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up because these gnats are driving me crazy. And I'm going to get some bug spray on, but that's what I'm focusing on. And you know, I may not find any gobble tracks, but it'll be a good spot to start tomorrow morning if I don't find any, because where there's hens, a lot of times there's gobblers. And so uh, I'm gonna just continue to ride these roads, checking these intersections, intersections for the next um, two hours until it gets dark. Well, I finished riding around, still didn't find any gobbler tracks. Found uh, quite a few hen tracks, but I circled around on the back side of where I found the, the biggest cluster of hen tracks. Turns out the road is impassable through here. I'll show you what I mean. Big old mud puddle. You could come in from the other side, but it's impassable as well. So nothing's been back in here. And it's really deep back in here where I want to go. And so I'm hoping the fact that these big deep mud holes, water holes are here, that no one's hunting back in here or there's been very little pressure. And so I'm gonna go back in there and try and roost some birds this evening. Hopefully there's something back there talking. What is that, that's a pig. Oh, that's a bear. That's a black bear. See how close I can get to him. Hey bear. Hey, get on out of here, bear. get some video of it but I didn't want to get too close to surprise him and, and he charged me but he's gone he gone here in a few minutes I'll just start hooting coyote howling working my way back to my truck hopefully there's a turkey somewhere roosted a gobbler roosted somewhere between here and there and they're gonna gobble
Well, nothing is gobbling. So I gotta make a decision. Do I come back in here in the morning and just hope there's some birds that weren't gobbling tonight, but they're back in here and they're gobbling tomorrow morning? Or do I pick another spot? I gotta make that decision tonight. I'll let you guys know tomorrow morning what I do and what I decide. I decided not to go to the area I scouted yesterday, even though I found some hen tracks in that general area. I just figured I'd use it as a backup later in the morning if nothing pans out in this spot. This is a spot that uh, has a, a small creek flowing around it and some a cy cypress swamp next to it. And I figured there might be some turkeys in here. So um, I'm up on the little ridge here right before it drops into the swamp. And uh, hopefully I'll hear some birds this morning. Now it's hoot, but it's real quiet and far off. My hoot right here is going to be a little louder. See if we can get one of the gobblers closer by. I thought I heard one gobble while I was hooting. Yeah, he started tooting, and I got my call out. Another one joining, they were catawalling, but they were so far off, it was real quiet. I heard it sound like in the middle of the catawalling that. Oh. That's pretty deep back in there. I kind of want to head that way, but I also want to get confirmation of the turkey. I mean, I don't have to be under him right at daybreak. As long as I know where a turkey is at, I can move that direction. But I'd like, I'd like to confirm that. Sit here and listen for a few minutes. See what happens. Turkey just gobbled. That was the turkey that gobbled earlier. So now he just gobbled again for sure in the same spot. Let's head back in there. I got a swamp in my way. Not too big. I can get around it. I gotta get a better beat on this gobbler. See which way around the swamp I need to go. Just got way off that way. Turkey gobbled in that direction. You can see the swamp right here in front of me. I'm gonna just skirt the edge and try to get around. Looks like some dry ground over there. You know, it actually could be water going farther that way. I should probably take this edge. It looks like it ends here. Yeah, as I'm walking, I stop and listen occasionally, just kind of take slow steps and I heard him gobble off in this direction. The problem is there's a huge oxbow in the, in the creek. It's a pretty deep creek. Sounds like he's roosted out in that oxbow, so I won't be able to get across to him. My hip wire's not deep enough or not tall enough. So I'm gonna have to try and call him across. But let's cut some distance here. It should be right up that way. Where there went a hen. 
That's good, I guess. There goes another hen. Some better ground hunting or calling from. This might be too deep for me. Getting close. There we go. Oh, hip here sure do come in handy. And then I can roll them down as it starts to get warm. Anyway, he's still gobbling. He's, he's definitely on the ground. He's back in this way. And I'm gonna just try to get on the other side of him. I'm getting uh, close to around the end of this little oxbow. This oxbow tapers down a little narrow at one end almost to Almost to dry ground, it gets real narrow there. Bird could come across it. I'm gonna touch base with him with the owl see if he'll gobble and make sure where he's at. Oh, that's a long gobble. He's close. I think I'm gonna set up right here. That's working distance right there. This will be good right here. Got some good cover. This is where I make my final stand. There's plenty of holes to get shots through. Sometimes I feel like I don't know how to turkey out. Get out here. Get all panicky. Part of the panic comes from all this gear I gotta, cameras I gotta set up. <laughs> well, he's to move to the right. In a little bit of time, it sounds like it's up there. He's on the move. He's not quite as far as I thought. He's this way. Alright, that's all we'll give him. Let's see what he does. He may not come in. That's actually the direction the hens flew, so he may be going towards them. It sounds like he's 150 yards or less away.
I got him. <laughs> I'll play that just right. He was interested. He, he was gobbling at my calls. He was gobbling now, hooting, gobbling at turkey calling. But I got right here and I'm in a tricky position because there's water out in front of me. There's water back behind me. Just a narrow strip of land right through here. And I think there's water up ahead. I, I don't know for sure. I know that oxbow necks down, but there's still probably water. Plus the fact that I heard him fly meant that he was probably flying across water. It almost sounded like two separate flights. And it was probably him taking off and then him landing. But uh, I just got the gun ready. I was ready the whole time. I'd been sitting there quietly for, gosh, 20, 25 minutes or so. And that was enough to bring him on in. Let's take a look at him. He's got a good little beard there. Got some pretty good spurs. I'll say they're both at least an inch. That might be a little, just a tad over an inch. Just a good old gobbler. 